Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more Galactic Civilizations 3, the beta, as the Drangi. An idle ship, uh, we're gonna just tell him to continue to explore. Although I really wish he would follow the perimeter. Why are you going there? It just doesn't seem like a reasonable exploration path at all. Never mind, you're being dumb, I'll just manually tell you to follow the perimeter of our support range. In, in most cases, I think manual control is better than uh, what the AI will do with most of your ships, but... Alright, you're not going to do anything. We're going to pass this turn on him and then uh, wait for the other ship. There he is. Have him come over now. And let's see what happens. Hey, they auto-merged. Ships. Okay, there we go. Logistics 4 of 10. So the ship, we can have five of those ships in a group. I don't remember. Yeah, there's... It doesn't show the logistics of an individual ship, so it only shows logistics value when they're actually in a little fleet. So how about we queue up uh, five of these guys and see just how strong they can be together. Stingray, Stingray, Stingray. Get rid of you. Can we move you down? Right-clicking doesn't remove it from the queue. There doesn't appear to be any way to uh, change the order of the queue. This is unfortunate. Um, we'll build one more constructor, though, and then you up the next one. And uh, we'll actually have that fleet move there, since that's where they're spawning anyway. Research. Hyperdrive detectors make it easy to see hyperdrive-enabled ships from great distances, but can the distances be greater? We shall lean on our research slavelings until the answer is yes. <laughs> Alright, so we've just discovered sensor amplification, amplification, uh, sensor range up plus, plus one. I'm guessing that's just kind of like automatic on every ship. We could do ion optimization. Reduce the mass, some miniaturization on the drive. I think more weapons are in order. Beam specialization reduces the cost to construct, or we can reduce missile mass. Militarization, um, there's no point building something if it can't be used for fighting in or with or on. <laughs> I love the sense of humor, it's great. Uh, leads to military specialization. You know, I'd like more ships. Um, what do we have to do for that? Chaff, deflectors, that's defense. Um, unlocks culture. Engineering, orbital manufacturing, unlocks hull size small. Yeah. Do orbital manufacturing. Okay. What's next? We build up a bunch of ships and then we go kill something. Alright. Fending fleet. There's the uh, fleet 2179. Okay. And the DRF short constructor. So there's multiple ships in this fleet. They're just not, um, interesting. Stacked ships. Okay, I see how it's doing it. We'll take the DRF short range constructor and go in there and just see if maybe perimeter scanners, advanced starbase defenses, more weapons, more destruction. Okay, sure. Okay, now it's getting bigger. So I guess the more upgrades you get, the bigger the starbase will actually look. That's pretty good, though. It's got some defenses. Crew and cost. Hmm. Oh goody, cost is coming soon. <laughs> Can't wait. Let's pass that turn. Have you path right through that guy. Oh dear, do I actually have to, to command each of these to pass? Every turn? That'd be annoying. Hey, we got three. Ships in fleet. Okay, so I want to combine them. There we go. You gotta hold on shift. What is this thing? Got little notches on it, kinda like a like a speedometer or like an altimeter or something. Okay, um, Tactical speed, 25. I don't really know what that means. Let's go fight. Maybe we we'll just go now. Where's the closest enemy? 
Oh man, our range sucks. Look at that, we can't even cross to uh, to other sections. Well, we can move into this range. And we can go up that way, so let's go north. Go to there. Look at that, they're going to path right through that. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to, to work that way. Uh, it's just choosing the nearest point. I wonder what will happen. Will they actually just... Well, based on what we saw with the other survey ship, just leaving its... It's just completely oblivious to supply range. That's funny. Okay, life support. Not very important. Don't worry. It's a, it's not a really good, very s significant research resource. All right. Um, more improvements. We just need more work camps, I think. Always. Next turn. I mean, I mean, there is a minor restriction. Like, I can't tell them. I cannot tell them to leave. But. Automatic stuff seems to just send them willy-nilly. Oh, shoot, something just happened. I pressed enter right at the same time that, that that popped up. Oh well. Couldn't have been terribly important, right? It's telling me to wait. Still processing the turn. Alright, there's an extra ship. Let's have you go up there too. And we'll end that turn now. So yeah, we'll merge them all in, but... Confirm battle. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fascinating. Coming soon. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing what's happening is the scout ships are getting killed, but I'm not getting any kind of anything about it doesn't matter my little death ships are are coming oh, why'd I do that? we could probably just go like this <laughs> jeez just go up there yeah sure, just, just go around all that it's great it seems reasonable <laughs> never mind the, the lack of oxygen and water it's alright okay um, shall we wait for the others to rally here? Maybe not be a bad idea. I don't think we can actually invade them. Perimeter scanners. Nice. That doesn't seem to matter very much, but... The perimeter scanners do what? Sensor range, four... Parsecs. Okay. Area of effect five. Oh, goody. You can see four whole parsecs. <laughs> That's not useful when we've got a, a mother, like, main capital planet right next door. Probably we shouldn't have done that. Oh, the shipyard's inactive. Right. Um, we don't have the newer ship design. So just keep making more stingrays. Lots of them. Seems reasonable. All right. Survey report complete. We've gained credits. We'll wait probably two or three more turns for these guys to rally. An idle colony. Wow, you spat those things out quick. So there, there really aren't any more improvements to be made on this planet then, so I guess the project will be, um... Uh, birthing subsidies until we get to maximum. And then after that, the, uh, the research project. Oh, interesting, you can only key one of these things at a time. I was hoping you could have one and then once it got to max pop it would do the other. But, no, we'll do the birthing subsidies. Okay, so we have another uh, Stingray here. We'll just let that guy guard. You guys we will pass on. There should be a shortcut key to pass. I just don't know what it is. Fleet 2202. You will pass. Idle ship. That would be you. 
Hold down shift click, create fleet. You will pass, turn, click. Hey, it automatically combined him in. Nice. Idle ship. It's got movement. We've got 15 cannon power and 11 or 10 laser power. Let's see. What we it doesn't actually show on here how much movement we have anymore, but I have to imagine that we can find it. Moves four. I don't. Ah. This interface is disappointing. Alright, so clearly that is the... Who is that? That's some guy. That's somebody. Oh, god damn it. It's just out of range. We're going to have to build something up here to increase our range so that we can actually go kill it. How is it that you have so much range? And your darn things. Maybe if I built an influence base up there? Let's try that. Let's do, uh... Well, first off, let's do this. We'll take our star, not the star base, the shipyard. We'll unanchor it. And we're going to move it, like, that way. And we're going to manage it. And we're going to stop making quite so many stingrays. Oh, hey, cool. We got orbital manufacturing. We got the new hull size. Leads to upgraded ship design. Let's take a look at the tech tree, because I'm getting confused by this. Leads to... We just did orbital manufacturing, and it said it leads to orbital, orbital specialization, and then leads to other stuff. Okay, so where are these other ships? Full description goes here. Logistics plus two, capacity plus 10%. Leads to zero gravity construction. Hyperion shrinker. Hyperion... We need to do one of these first. Let's say probably military manufacturing. That seems fine. Multiple stingrays in there. Just discovered another anomaly. And who knows what you're doing. Can you please go kill that planet? Just please. Just just go over there. Just a little little bit. Is there not anything we can actually go fight? <laughs> wow, that's a lot of influence that they're pressing against us with. Hey, we can fight that. Okay, go there. Oh, God, it's going to take so long. How many turns is it going to take? How come I can't... Oh. Look at that. You can see the little dots for how many turns it's going to take, but when you zoom in, you can't actually see. Oh, come on, game. Work with me here. I know that there's a number there. I know it. I know it's rendering a number, and then I zoom in, and then it goes away. Oh, that's just frustrating. These uh, debris fields are kind of boring. It's usually credits, which are silly. So if that's the case, the starbase doesn't need to go that way. It needs to go this way. That way. Rally. You guys can head that way too. See, now with you, I can zoom in. I can still see it. And now I can't... What, why would it... I, that's weird. Well, so far it seems like the only thing that really matters are work camps. That's fine. When the game's all about combat and military, it kind of makes sense, I think. But, confirm battle. 
Is that it? Please, I want to, just want to see the results of a battle. Crying out loud. Whew. All right, well, I guess I'm going to take a break here, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, maybe if we directly tell them to go into combat, it'll be more than just confirm battle. I'm not sure. But for now, I will see you in the next video, I hope. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. See you again soon.